Taylor Nichols is missing from Louisiana and some of her items were found in the woods behind the Walmart. That's coming up next. Taylor Nichols is 27 years old. She's from Roboline, Louisiana. And she was last seen at the mini Louisiana Walmart. Now there's surveillance video showing her going into the Walmart. She was there for a short while. And there's video surveillance showing her leaving the Walmart, heading towards her car. And then she goes past her car and heads towards the south exit of the parking lot. And she has not been heard from since. But she's never stayed disconnected for this long. Like she's always um, found a way to talk to my dad by like someone else's logging in on like um, their phone and like on Facebook or even like messaging them from like someone else's cell phone. Now the investigators say that her cell phone has not been used. And then just this Monday, there was a search over in that area. And what they found were some items that looked that Taylor had purchased at the Walmart and some of her own personal items. So let me go back over that for you. So there's a wooden area you can see by the map. It's between, they went to search over the Walmart and the Patrick Miller Tracking Company, right? And over there, you can see a wooded area and a field. And they found these items. There was a pair of leggings found near a bale of hay in the field. And her ID was found in that field. And then over by the woods, there was found a $5 bill, a face mask, and her red tennis shoes that she was wearing. And there has been some speculation about the tennis shoes that why they didn't have any mud on them and why they were clean. I guess some of the searchers are talking about the items that they discovered and they find it rather strange that they didn't have mud all over them because they said that area would be very muddy. Now the car that was left in the parking lot was picked up by the police and they're going over it now. They're looking for any kind of evidence. So far, they haven't come out and said they said, have found anything, anything unusual, nothing's been released to the public regarding that. Now, they did put out an update, the Sabine Parish Sheriff's Office. Let me read a little bit of that to you. Detectives have reviewed video footage from the mini Walmart on Friday evening, September 18th, around 7.30. It showed Nichols park her vehicle, enter the store for a short time, then exit, walk back to her vehicle and walk away towards the south exit of the parking lot. Taylor's ID was located in the field between Walmart and Patrick Miller Tractor, Tractor Company. Detectives have searched the property where her ID was found. Taylor's vehicle was transferred to the detection center to be processed for possible evidence. Detectives also reviewed all known video surveillance for surrounding businesses, which revealed no further evidence. Detectives have also obtained Taylor's cellular phone records, which showed no activity since Friday evening, September 18th. Several acquaintances of Nichols has been interviewed and leads are being followed. Detectives have been in contact with other law enforcement agencies in the state, including the FBI and Shreveport, and they're combining their efforts together to search for Taylor. Now, Taylor has blonde hair, green eyes, five foot, six inches tall, tattoos on her right leg, left arm, and chest. Now, if you have any information, if you know where Taylor might be, please call the police department, let me give you the phone number, and it is 318-256-9241. Alrighty, that's it. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.